Hi everyone, uh, just a quick video. I am editing a photo. That I, I, I've actually I've totally gone off off plan here. Uh, this was a wedding shoot which I did a wee while ago, and I'm just trying to make a kind of an interesting little animation, uh, kind of logo animation, uh, for for fun really, because uh, I enjoy doing this stuff, and. Um, let's just see. And what I'm trying to do is I've, I've, I'm making it more of a cinematic look. So I've added the black bars, top and bottom, and I've added Team Groom in the font of stencil, which is a bit like A Team. And I'm trying to add uh, bullet holes to it. Now, using GIMP, now if anybody says, oh, you could do this so much more easier in Photoshop, please show me. The amount of people that say this is slow and lethargic or whatever, uh, I, you're probably very right. However, don't tell me. Show me how it's quicker and faster in Photoshop. So what I'm trying to do is I've added this uh, logo here and I'm trying to make what looks like bullet holes. Now, GIMP doesn't give me a pre-rendered bullet hole brush, as in if we look at the brushes, they're just circles or stuff. However, I think of, I think my bullet holes look quite good so far. Uh, so I just need to save that one. So what I'm doing is I'm saving each file as a separate uh, image. Um, so then I can just edit it in the video and uh, add bullet sounds to it. So let's just see how well this goes. So what I'm doing is to create a bullet hole look, I'm going to add one um, onto the G here. Now, for the centre of the bullet hole, I'm using the paintbrush, and I'm using uh, the just a simple full-on circle tool, and I'm just going to decide to put it right at his there. Whoops, I wasn't on the layer mask. So what I've done is on the actual uh, writing, I've added a layer mask. So this is where I'm meant to be adding the dots. So whenever I add the paint mark, it takes it away, as you'll see here. Yes, phew. Okay, so it's taken away. Now, after that, what I'm adding is I'm going to the uh, airbrush tool. I don't know if I actually really need to do that. And I'm going back to my brush selection, and I'm picking this Galaxy. Galaxy is what I'm using. And I've picked it so it's roughly just a little bit bigger than the actual uh, hole. And uh, I'm doing two things. One, I'm doing it on the actual, uh, what do you call it, what do you call this? layer mask. So this should make some of it, so if I just press and hold, press and hold, nothing happens. Come on, there it goes. And you'll see we're slightly getting, yeah, so we're seeing bits through there. But just having that kind of look doesn't look quite right. So what I'm actually doing is on the actual lettering, so on the logo here, and then going back in, and then over roughly the same area, I'm just adding this brush again. So this should give it a black outline, like that. So although it's a tiny little amount, I think that looks more three-dimensional. We'll do it on another one. Uh, let's just, I'll, I'll do the opposite way around. So here, let's say we go to uh, the R, we'll do it at the lower point here. So we'll add the black, so there's the galaxy, and then I will go and add it onto the layer mask. So roughly the same place, I think. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then I'll just add the circle dot in the center. So that should look like a little exploded bit of text. Let's see. 